Good afternoon team Fullets. This is again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Up My Canal. So today we're going to do another Get Ready With Me. We're going to play with the Morphe 35P palette. So this is the palette we're going to play with today. But before we jump into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook like page. All the links will be down in the description box. Don't forget to join my WhatsApp um, chat group. If you have a quick question you want me to answer, check out my WhatsApp chat group. The number will be down in the description. All information will be down in the description um, concerning the product that I'm using. So I've already um, primed my eyes. I use my Makeup, makeup Revolution Face Base Concealer. I use this to cut my crease and I also use it to prime my eyes. So now that I have primed these eyes, I'm going to take my AliExpress brush. I'm going to take this um, palette from the Morphe. It's been a while since I played with this eyeshadow palette. So we're going to take this brown here. I'm going to Maybe first this shade. We're gonna first take this shade here. I'm gonna use it to just set all these um, shadows, just to set the concealer on my eyes, so that the concealer does not move. So the concealer does not go anywhere. So we're first gonna use that to set. It's been so. Much a while since I dive into this palette. I'm, I remember when I first started buying the Morphe eyeshadow palette, I used to play with it so many times, like every makeup look I do. If you go and watch my old, old videos, it was more like the Morphe palette, the Morphe palette, the Morphe palette. But as time goes, you just try new things. That's what it is. So now that I have used that to just set the powder, I'm going to take this shade here. I'm going to use it to transition this shade here. So I'm just going to use that same brush. I'm just going to put it right um, on my brow bone, like right there. I'm just going to use it and I'm just going to blend that into the skin. Blend it very smoothly into the skin. You guys can see the color is so beautiful the shade is it is so beautiful guys sometimes you just have to work with what you have i see that they have the jackie Arner and anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palette in the do class it just came in last week i saw it and i'm like should I pick it up? Your girl is too rich right now. I just finished celebrating my daughter's birthday. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I put some pictures there. And trust me, it wasn't cheap getting everything together. So I'm thinking of maybe by the end of the month, I'll maybe go and pick it up. Who knows maybe not too sure because the palette is like 55 euros for the palette it is not cheap guys so I'm thinking of picking it up um, if you guys want to see me try that palette leave a comment below please I want to know what you go what you all are thinking like what you're thinking <laughs> so now that we've done that before I go further into this palette, I'm going to take this. Ooh, I should have done this first before I go in and blend and transition, but anyway, we can still do it. I'm going to take this um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I'm going to use this um, on top of my eyes, like right here. Ooh, that's too much. I'm just gonna use it on top of my eyes. I'm gonna use my finger to like really blend it out smoothly. Yeah, as you see, blend it out very smoothly. Use your finger. Mm. 
I'm just gonna blend it out very, very smoothly. So now that it's done that, I'm going to take that same um, transition shade I used just to blend the top to get rid of any harsh line. So now that we've done that, I'm going to take this dark purple here, like this one here. I'm going to put it on top of that. I'm just going to put it all over on top of the eyes. Just dab it on top. Just dab. Go in for like a dabbing motion. And as you're dabbing, just trying to blend the outer corner. Don't go all the way up just stay right there and just like blend and then go in again with some shadows and excuse my crazy face expression I'm gonna do the same thing here So we're going in again with that round just to get rid of any hash lines. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm just with no product. I'm just going to blend the corner of like right in here. Just blend everything smooth. I'm going to get a little bit of the shadow. Yeah, just to blend everything to be like really smooth. So now it's done, we're going to take another brush. I'm going to take um, this darker shade here. I'm going to put this um, on the outer corner of the eyes. So I'm just going to take that shade and just blend it on the outer corner and then we're just going to try to like bring it inwards here just a little bit. And don't try to bring it all the way up just here and then bring it in just a little bit. So we're going to do the same thing here. Just that same brown. And just bring it inward a little bit. So now we've done that, we're going in again with that same purple. We use that same shade. We're just gonna press it on top of the eyes. So I'm just going to blend that for the hash line. I'm going in again with that um, second shade I used to transition just to blend everything smoothly. Um, you guys can see it is very very simple. If you want you can 
go in and darken darken it a little bit more but i think it's why is this stupid fly just flying around <sighs> it's like getting me annoying You can go in and darken the the outer corner if you want and dark it even even more but for me I think I just like it the way it looks so now what we're going to do we're going to take that brush we use we're going to take um this shade here we're going to put this in the inner corner of the eyes just a little bit like that just a little bit not too much so now that we've done that I'm going to my eyes with my eyeliner So now that we've done the eyes and I fixed some false lashes, yes. So now it's time to jump into the skin. What I'm going to do? My phone just went off. I'm going to take my makeup revelation primer. I love this primer. I am like so in love with this primer it is very beautiful primer I just like it so I'm just going to especially around my nose where I got those pores blended into the skin as you guys know I always um, prime my face with my SPF some protective cream so I've already done that so yeah so now that we've put this primer into the skin, I'm going to take my foundation brush. I'm going to take the makeup <laughs> NYX Bond to Blue Liquid Eliminator. This is in Sun Goddess. I'm just going to take some few and I'm just going to blend this into the skin. Um, yeah, I just love using liquid eliminator underneath my foundation because i love the finish look it actually gave me it's a little bit on the forehead not too much just a little bit so now that we've done that we're going to take the NYX Bond to Glow Liquid, um, NYX Bond to Glow Foundation. This is in Coco. Um, I've done a review on this foundation. If you guys, <coughs> I just like everything just come on my dress. I had to get a wipe to wipe it off, guys. Like I'm so messy with makeup. Like I just pour it all on my dress. And um, this is the reason why I always like to wear old clothes when I'm doing my makeup. And then, like, my, my clothes is messy, you guys see? This is the reason why I like to do, like, old t-shirt. And whenever I'm done, I change up to what I want to wear. 
I think that's enough. If I need more, I'll take. But for now, that is okay. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I'm just gonna blend that into the skin first. Make sure I blend it everywhere. Around my nose, in my mouth, underneath my eyes a little bit. A little bit go a long way with this foundation. My skin is getting a little bit better, so I'm kind of happy. At least I'm still having some reaction, but everything is like smoothly disappearing, getting away. So I don't really need like a lot of foundation around my mouth anymore because it's starting to like cleared up a little bit so there's actually no need to have to add more foundation and on, 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 on my mouth so yeah just blend I'm putting like right around right here because I use a lighter concealer to kind of like cut my eyeliner to make it a little bit sharper so I like to go in with the foundation to make this side a little bit darker like here and also my brow so now it's time to cut off the unicorn brow you guys can see this is the unicorn brow just going I just like to take my foundation brush and just like go in later I'm going to shape it nicer but for now I think that is okay I just like to bring all the way around so yeah this is what it looks like now so I think it's good I don't need more um, foundation I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Matte Base um, Face Base Concealer. This is in C12 and C14. I'm just going to mix these two because the C12 um, is a little bit lighter. And a little bit go a long way with this. Um, concealer and I'm going to take the C14 which a little bit darker just that I'm going to take my makeup revolution sponge and I'm just gonna blend this into the skin the sponge is dry it's not um, wet sometimes I like it to be wet sometimes I just like the finished result I get when the sponge is uh, dry. Yeah. I'm just gonna blend the nose, make sure everything is smoothly blend. And now it's time to blend underneath the eyes. Try to mix I'm going to use a powder that is going to make my under eyes stand out so I don't want like use a lot of concealer and I don't want to use like a super light concealer because the powder that I'm going to use is perfect like giving you that beautiful on the eye that you're looking for so yeah I'm not gonna bring it all the way up we're just gonna like stop right here right where my brow and um, stop and then we're just gonna blend this into the skin blend it all on my nose and get everything blend 
same here. I like it. So now that we've done that, I'm going to take my powder. You guys know this has become one of my favorite. This is the next can't stop, won't stop setting powder. It has become one of my favorite. I just love the way my under eye look uh, when I use it in person and in pictures I just love the way it looks yeah beautiful So I'm just going to take a little bit and just dab on my forehead. You guys know I don't like to highlight my forehead because I feel like my forehead is perfect. It's not big, it's not small, it's just good. So we don't need to make it bigger like it's okay. It's not that big, it's not that small, perfect the way it is. We don't need to over drag the forehead okay so now what we're going to do we're going to take going in the morphe palette i'm going to take this purple here i'm going to do this underneath my eyes you guys know to do shadow underneath my eyes it's a struggle so excuse the face expression It's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, my eyes is watering. Jesus. is crazy man like I mean, my eyes is crazy I'm going to take my black opera setting powder I'm going to use this to set my face I love the setting powder it just makes my makeup look so good Yes, so I'm gonna take the same powder. I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. I always start like right here. And then we're just gonna contour this nose with the powder. The reason why I'm using this powder is so that the contour is not that super super dark on my nose. It looks a little bit natural. Now that you can see me from five miles away you can see that my nose is contour 
and I also like to just contour around it here I don't know why but I just love the way it looks So now that, that is done, I'm going to print out my from Enigo. You know, I love this contour powder. So now what I'm going to do, just gonna take whatever remains on the brush, just gonna try to contour the jawline. I'm going to take this blush from Ella Girl. You guys know I'm not a blush person, but let's just put something on the cheek. Just to give it a little bit of color. I think that is okay. Doesn't have to be too much. It is perfect. Okay. I'm going to take my Sun Kiss bronzer. I'm going to bronze. You guys know I always like to bronze right on top of my contour and blush just to tone down that blush a little bit because i'm not really into blush you know i'm not gonna i'm not going underneath my contour it's just above my contour like right there so now that is done The reverse control, okay? I'm just gonna take the same powder I used to set. I'm gonna try these two lipstick. This is from um, Ofra Cosmetic and this is from MAC. I'm going to put the Ofra Cosmetic um, around the lip and I'm gonna put the MAC in the center just to give like that ombre um, lick. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. going to put the mac in the center Ooh. Beautiful. I have to clean this side just a little bit. Yeah, now it's time to wipe off this excess powder. So 
so now it's time to highlight yo it looks so dramatic with lipstick but anyway so i'm gonna use this um ellie girl highlighting palette first i'm going to i've already um i um do my eyebrow i use this shade here to do my eyebrow i'm gonna use that same bronzy shade to highlight my nose i love this um shade it's not like super super shimmery it has more like that bronzy thing you know i like it so yeah and then what else i've already highlighted my eyebrows so yeah i'm just gonna take a little bit and put it right in the inner corner of my eyes just right there just a little bit and then now it's time to highlight the cheekbone i'm still gonna use that same bronzing shade even though i have already um, used a bronzer just a little bit we don't you see we don't need a lot just smile and just It's blinding. Now it's time to highlight the ch chin. You guys know I always like to highlight my chin. For what reason? I don't know. I just love to do it. Yep. A little bit dark just to get rid of those I'll see a little bit of darkness yeah. mm -hmm. so now it's time to set the face I'm going to use my makeup revolution oil control setting spray so beauties this is the finished result it's a little bit too bright a little bit too bold the lip and the eye actually the lip but some of you guys like the bold look so you know what hope you all like this video um i really really like how it turned out the eyes um it's really really nice the eyes are a little bit dark a dark purple it's not that super bright but i love the way it turned out. i love the combination of both lipstick um the darker um outer and a little bit lighter in the inner i really like it i love the combination i just love how everything just look like so i hope you all like this video i just i just love it i love my eyebrow like sometimes there's some days where i kind of like get the eyebrow too much to look alike and there's some days where it just doesn't look alike so yeah but today is that day which i think yeah Hi, the Inca. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But there's some days where I just don't get it to look alike. And today, I feel like I kind of master it. It looks alike. So, yeah, I hope you all like this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook, like page. All the links will be down in the description box. This is your girl, Emmy. And I hope to see you guys next So, forget not to abonnee. And forget not to follow me on my Instagram. My my Instagram partner and my Facebook. Hope you can use this name. Do bye.